Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to finish our look at Behind Blue Eyes by taking a look at the electric guitar parts. Um, we did all the acoustic in the first lesson. This one kind of starts out, it's double time feel, kind of a, a solo little thing going, the kind of repetitive thing, and then the, the big chords come in for the verse. So that little solo is pretty much, you're going to start here just with a little slide of the 12th fret on down on the 6th string. And then into our 11th fret bend here on the G string, a whole step in. Now as you're doing that, hold a bar with your little finger across the 12th fret on the high E in the B string. So you just... So you can pick those strings after you do the bend, while you're still holding the bend. And when you pick that G string again, release the bend and then bring it back up. Then it comes to 9 on the G, to 11 on the D string, and then you can basically play the 11 on the D string into the 9 on the G and 12 on the B together a few times. So you do that like... So all together... Well then it just pretty much does that again. And then it goes into the actual chord progression I just played. Uh, this is kind of a kind of played real, real aggressively. So it starts out with a B minor chord. Oh, actually, it starts out with an E power chord. Sorry. Then to a B minor, just a, and to an A power chord. So we have this all together. Now I'll start over. This time, instead of going to the A power chord, you go to a G. We'll talk more about the rhythm in a second. So we have this. All right, from there we go to a D chord. Back to the B minor, to the A. So from the D, D I'm sorry, B minor to A, back to the D, back to the B minor, and back to the A. So the, it just basically did D, B minor, A twice. All right, so all together. Here's that D. Now I had this little exit here that there's a little fill that goes on at the very end of it, and I'll show you in a second. I just want to talk about the rhythm. Pete Townsend loves doing those quick little bursts, so it's just a quick little... Just down, up, down. You know, he basically will do it just kind of randomly throughout the progression when it... So just keep a nice loose wrist. We talked about this a little bit in the acoustic uh, lesson. It's just raise your wrist a little bit and it just helps to do that little motion with the wrist. Helps keep the wrist uh, a little looser. All right, so we had this little fill after we do that, the D to B minor to A twice. It was this. And then it starts over with the next verse. So we basically are going to have low E string twice, and then pull off 2 to 0 on the D. Back to the low E open. And then now the second fret on the D and the G together. And then low E again, and then a quick little hammer from 0 to 2 on the D. So let me just play that measure for you. We have this. One more time. All right, and now we're going to move up here. We're going to play the seventh fret on the A to the fifth fret. 
and slide that down. And you're gonna grab the third fret here on the low E string. So we have this. All right. From there we have two on the D string, then zero three on the low E. Back to that two. So it has this. One more time. Oh, I'm sorry. So all together for both measures. All right, and then it basically starts over with the verse. So instead of playing the, the full like B minor chord, it's pretty much just power chords. So the B, but it's just a power chord. And still goes to the G, same progression, progression as before. Then the D. And this one ends with a little fill as well. It ends with this. All right, so that is basically going to be that little pull off, open low E, pull off two to zero on the D. Little bend there on the third fret now on the low E. That second fret on the D twice. Now the same note, you're going to slide into the seventh fret on the A string. We have this so far. Let that ring out for about a you know, eighth note or whatever, and then you're going to slide into the ninth fret on the D string from the seventh fret to seven on the G, back to nine on the D, over to nine seven on the G. So all together. All right, and then from there we have that kind of solo thing we did it again to open it. But it's just, it just happens once. Just one bend, and then pick across those top two strings. Then 11, 9, 11 on the G. Let 9 ring. Back to the 11 on the D, back to the 9, and do that again. So just kind of mess around with those two notes a little bit. And then you get to those big... All right, so that's just a B major chord. Just that little quick burst on it again. Then the A, G, and a D twice. Really accented. Do all that three times. And then the last one, you just hit the B and just let it ring. And then it goes back into the acoustic part, the, just the verse. Uh, that we already covered. We, uh, we talked about the very ending of the song. It's the same as the verse progression, just doing that arpeggio picking on the acoustic. All right, so that's about it for the song. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.